high five. Evening, everyone. This is Russell, aka the To Be Geek. Excuse me, our reposition. And thought I would give you a update on my continuing efforts to lose weight through using the DDP Yoga program. It's not been the best week of weeks. Um, I'm going into my fourth weekend. This weekend, um, I was off work and things got kind of, kind of rough and tumble. I was actually down the dumps on um, on Saturday. But the interesting thing was that even though I was down, I felt like if I didn't get a workout in that it just wasn't going to be a worthwhile day. So I popped in a disc that I hadn't run at all yet called Wake Up. This is, it wasn't exactly what I anticipated it to be. Now I figured Wake Up it was going to be something to get your, you know, get your blood pumping, get you started through your day. It was more like an extended warm up. Um, I actually didn't end up really doing any engaging of my muscles until about eight minutes into this 10 minute workout. Note the air quotes. Excuse me. Um, but at least I got something in. And the only reason why I was so determined to get something in was I have taken an, on another challenge for this month. Um, through Team DDP Yoga, there's a lot of different groups that you can join. There's ones associated with your age. There's ones for um, your interests. There's ones just to keep you mo keep you motivated. Um, one I joined in particular is called the DDP Yoga Warriors group. These guys create challenges for themselves that take up the course of the entire month. Um, last month, obviously, I joined halfway through uh, because I didn't get the program until I, f uh, or I didn't start the program until February thirteenth, um, and they were told they were pushing to do red hot core every day for the entire month of February. This month, they are asking the members of the group to do a different workout every day for the month. Um, the biggest purpose of this is to get you doing um, doing programs that you haven't done before and to also mix things up and um, keep things from getting stale or boring. Um, I'll admit I've done pretty much I've done energy to fat burner for the la entire last week or last seven days of February to do a different challenge so I could do a live workout with DDP online. So I was, I was looking forward to this challenge. Um, another challenge that I've been taking on is that I have not drank any, um, I have not drank sweet tea, which is essentially a house wine in this part of the country, um, or any pop soda, Coke, Pepsi, whatever you, whatever your, your vernacular. But I haven't done, have been on that since even before the program started. Though I did find an alternative when I did have the uh, urge to have a uh, a fizzy drink, as it were, uh, using um, flavored seltzer water and uh, packets of stevia. I don't completely understand how or why it worked, but it worked and it got me my fix when I really wanted it. Um, I mean, interim weight update, I've lost about 10 pounds. Um, I'll have to admit that my um, food intake monitoring has not been stellar. Um, like I said, Saturday I got pre down the dumps and I am a, pardon me, 
I am admittedly an emotional eater. Eater. Um, really need to work on that better. Um, the gluten-free, dairy-free aspect of things are still sitting at about 80 to 85 percent. Um, I've given up pretty much most, if not all, dairy. Uh, at least cow, you know, cow's milk. I use almond milk wherever I can. Um, it's almost exclusively why I eat with my cereal. Um, and if I just want some milk to drink, I actually, yesterday I did that. Um, actually, I'm sorry, it was this morning. Um, I just fixed me a glass. I felt like having it. Uh, the gluten aspect is pretty tricky. Um, you don't realize how prevalent gluten is in our in the foods that we eat and checking labels on a regular basis to check for gluten is it can be pretty mind numbing and actually can be pretty depressing when you go in and you're saying oh I'd like to have you know I'd like to try to fix this and then you look at the label and go on the well it contains wheat or wheat products. Well, right, I can't do that. Van will make some substitutions, um, but it's not been it's not been 100% perfect. We're we're still working on that. Um, otherwise, my weigh-in, if I recall correctly, is going to be I think March the 13th or 14th. So we're looking at um, about 10 days from now, getting my official weigh-in and my measurements to see um, what changes have come around in this first 30 days. Um, I'm a little bummed because my 30-day goal was to lose 30 pounds, and that I don't I don't believe it's going to happen. But you never know. There could be there could be a significant something happen and, um, that could completely change. Um, my next goal is for around the end of March to be under 300 pounds. And right now I'm hovering around the 325 to 330 range, uh, depending on what time of day I'm waiting. I put that all on me because that's, that's my own fault for not having things go as well as I hoped in the, especially in the uh, food intake department. Um, I just refuse to use the word diet because of the fact that the first three layers of the word diet are dying. and just feels wrong to call when I'm doing a diet. I'm trying. Other than that, I'm looking forward to giving you all more updates. Um, I've watched quite a few. Uh, videos that have been posted on YouTube from other members of the Team DDP Yoga and I encourage you to do a search yourself if you are still on the fence about possibly doing this. Um, just do a search for DDP Yoga and watch for people, you know, look at people's uh, testimonies. Um, I highly recommend Sparky or uh, Nelson Brooklyn, I believe is his name. Uh, both those guys have some really uh, good information, some really good insight, um, and can if they're if they don't push you over to doing this, I don't know who else can. Um, definitely Arthur's video, as I'll say over and over again, is a huge inspiration. But until the next time, I see you guys on your life and feel the bang.